Hey there folks, welcome back to the Green Vlog. Today is the 23rd of October 2015, coming up to Halloween, and that's amazing. It's my favourite season of the year. <laughs> Seasonal holiday, maybe I should say. I've got it in down a bit for a reason, because I'm going to be doing an unboxing for this vlog. Actually two, two unboxings. So I wanted to just show off some things, just so you can see what they're like, and maybe you might fancy buying them as well. So I'll start with this one. I think I know what's in each of them. I don't know which order. I think this one is something that should be pretty interesting to see and I hope you like what's coming. I've got my trusty scissors. Because <laughs> God knows I'm shit at opening things. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. If this goes well, I will be happy. I won't be surprised if something goes wrong. Ah, what's the thingy? It's supposed to be like a zippy thing, but the fragile thing is in the way. Is it really that fragile? Yeah, rip right through the barcode, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> this one... Hold on, I'll, I'll wait till you see it. I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> what the hell, I went through the zippy thingy. Why are they opening? Oh. No? It's another zippy thingy. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's get a scissor. Uh, see, that tabby thing is supposed to come down now with the zippy thing. Right, here we go. We got it. We got it. Right, this is number one. This was a PSP game called Corpse Party. This is the final of the games, there was a couple of them. This is the limited edition version which you can only get over in the UK <laughs> via the website, the producer, developer, whatever you want to call it, website. It's a limited edition version, but not the most expensive, there were three versions. The standard one which came with some art cards anyway. This one which comes with a soundtrack, a art book and the art cards which was, wasn't much more expensive. And then there's the expensive one which came with just two little figures extra, maybe one or two other things as well. Let's check out what we got here for Blood Drive. Perfect for Halloween, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's have a little look. We have got the art cards that every version comes with. Probably the same ones in each of them. Uh, this is going to be the main character. I haven't played yet, but I've seen a trailer and it sort of <laughs> gave it away. This was a villain from the first game. Maybe she's back, I don't really know. Uh, looks like she's scared shitless, but I don't know what of. <laughs> uh, well, the Japanese have to do this, don't they? <laughs> it's going to be so much fan art. We'll leave it at fan art. And there's these two. I have no idea who this one is. Must be new to the game. She was from the first game as well, but from a different school. It's a horror game, by the way, where a couple of schools, well, one school in particular, but a couple of students and a teacher in the first game got together and did a ritual, and they all ended up in the demon side of it, and there were ghosts and deaths. It was pretty amazing. A couple of different endings and stuff like that. This must be the art book. Yeah. Oh wow. Look at that. <laughs> Quite like that. And on the inside it's got all the pictures and stuff, but I don't want to see that because I've heard there's spoilers in the art book and that's good. <laughs> so I'll leave that until I finish the game. And what's next? Should be the soundtrack. Yeah, the CD. It's too shiny. It's too shiny, it's got the glossy plasticky stuff, cell thing. On the back. It's in Japanese. No, it's in English, but you can't see what they're called because it's tiny right in and, you know. But, yeah, the soundtrack is one of the best things about the first game. I've heard that this game has got a really good one as well, so. Can't wait. Songs of the Dead. <laughs> and finally, finally, we've got the game itself for Vita. It's uh, 18 plus, although the first game wasn't that gory, it was more in the descriptions and the sort of sound effects and stuff. But if this one's an 18+, plus, then maybe they've gone 
a bit further with it. It's actually chibi art style, which is strange for horror, and I was a bit worried about it. But I've heard it was done really well, and the trailer looked good, so... I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt on the art style, and see for myself what it's like first. So that's everything in that one. Should we have a look at the other box? I don't want this to go on for too long. <laughs> so this one, obviously, I got from game, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Came out today. And anyone who knows me will probably be able to hazard a guess at what it is. So here we go. It's not a limited edition or anything, it's just a game. Zelda Triforce Heroes. I've been looking forward to this so much because I loved... There was a GameCube game called Four Swords Adventures, and this looks so similar. The only thing that disappoints me about this, there was a tweet I read where the online is region locked, so you've got to play with people in the in PAL regions if you were in the PAL region, or America if you're in America, or, you know, that sort of thing. I'm going to check it out, see if that's actually true. Uh, I don't know, it don't say. Uh, it probably does say, but I can't. I don't know. Let's see, I'll, I'll have a look when I get to it. I'll give her a shout, if you follow me on Twitter. There's something else in here. This was something that I didn't know until they dispatched it and they said on the email that it was coming. Because I pre-ordered it from game. It comes with this. Uh, Zelda. Hey, Zelda pins. Normally pins are quite cheap and I used to have magazines from N-Gamer or n for g or whatever you used to know it as. And used to give pins away, they were quite cheap. But these look quite nice. I've never been a pin collector, but I'm extremely happy with how these look. I don't know what pins are actually for. I, that might sound strange, but do you put them on bags and stuff? Do you put them on... Yeah, do you put them on bags? What do you do with them? They look really nice, so I'm happy with what they are, just as something to look at, but I'm just weirded out but what pins are. That's about it actually, that's the unboxing video. <laughs> so if you've played either of these games yet, give me a shout about what you think of them because I'd love to know. I'm going to be starting one of them over the weekend, probably both actually, <laughs> to have some stuff to do over the weekend. And I don't know what else to talk about. I don't think I want to talk about anything else in this video. So this has been Green Yaksai, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in a bit when there's going to be some Final Fantasy X going up today as well. Some Blitz Bowl, the whole Blitz Bowl tournament. And there's probably going to be a vlog over the weekend as well. Just so I can talk about some other stuff instead of just unboxing. Thanks for watching folks. See you in a bit.